Hey guys, today's video is bit different and it's really important too as many beginners learn the algorithms but they do not understand the importance of fine tuning their machine learning models to get the better accuracy. The question is how do we get the better accuracy and how do I fine tune and make my machine learning model better. So in this video we are going to discuss about how do you identify value of k in k means clustering what that k stands for which is nothing but number of clusters and how do we get optimum number to create clusters. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So let's get started without wasting our time more. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Imnath. In previous video, we discussed about what is K-means clustering algorithm and how it works with an example. A K-means falls under unsupervised learning type. So how do we work with unlabeled data, unsupervised learning? Make sure you watch that video first to understand the same in detail. I have kept the link in the i button above and also in the description below. So the question is, if I have a huge data and if I cannot plot the data, how do I know how many clusters I can create? What is the optimum number of clusters, right? It will be difficult. Currently, we have only 150 data points. That's why I can easily say three clusters is the best fit for this. Optimum value of K is three. That is three clusters you should create. But visually, you can see that that's why you are saying it currently. But in real scenarios, in real situations, when you have millions of rows, millions of data points, how will you know what is the number of k what is the value of clusters this is what really important in k means clustering and to identify the value of k that is optimum number of clusters that you should create using k means clustering we have certain methods and what are these methods what are these ways so we have two ways to find the optimum value of k that is number of clusters in k means clustering first way is called elbow curve method sounds funny right and trust me it is exactly as name suggests elbow curve method very easy very easy and the second way is silhouette plot Let's see one by one and discuss them. Before we proceed and discuss more on this, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our latest videos on AI and machine learning. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% of you are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating videos for you free. So keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. I take a pause here. Do us a favor by just liking and subscribing this video. The first way that is elbow curve method is really easy. If you see here, our goal is to get the optimal number of clusters, right? So elbow curve method, what it says, you need to identify the elbow within the curve. So where do you see your elbow? So this is where you see your elbow from this curve, right? So the optimum value of clusters is three. How did this curve drawn? We're drawing this curve for some squared error on Y column and value of K on X column. Basically, we are plotting the data for distortion against value of K. If you observe here, when value of K, if I reduce the number of clusters, one, the distortion is high. This is what we also observed, right? When value of K, that is number of clusters, if I increase, the distortion reduces, the error reduces. When it is three, distortion reduces more. When it is four, distortion reduces more. Distortion reduces further, further, further. When I keep increasing the value of K, but that doesn't mean you have got optimal value of K. So less error doesn't mean you have better value of K, right? And this is when you find the elbow and that elbow shows the optimal value of clusters, which is three here. And same thing we did in the demo. So going back to our demo, what are we doing here? We are again using K-means clustering. So no, no any algorithm, right? We are just plotting the data using matplotlib. We are again using K-means clustering and we need to plot the data against distortion and number of values that is K, okay? If you see value of K, one to eight and distortion that is output that we received and represent it by, by using this symbol. So let's see how does the output looks like. If I scroll down, do you see a plot looks like this? This is not exact elbow. This is a bit curve, but I can easily identify the elbow, which is again coming at value three. Okay, so this elbow where you have distortion, which is in between 200 and 300. This is what my optimal value of K. 
so 3 is the optimal number i mean three clusters you should create from this data set this is what our elbow method suggests us going to the second wave which is nothing but silhouette plots again this silhouette plot will help us get the optimal number of clusters okay what is the value of k there is the question right this is just a other method we also call silhouette as silhouette coefficient or silhouette score k means is a measure of how similar a data point is within cluster or cohesion compared to the clusters right basically it just looks for the data points which are nearer to each other are they cohesive meaning are they encapsulated are they related to each other right by doing some calculations we don't need to really worry about that there is a formula to calculate the silhouette coefficient which you see here i'm not going to talk about this as this is not really important so i'm going to go to the demo and show you how do you use this silhouette coefficient and know the optimal value of k optimal number of clusters if you want to understand the silhouette plot in detail the math behind the silhouette coefficients you can just do a google and learn the mathematics behind this for now let's go to the demo part and see what silhouette has to suggest again as i said it comes from numpy matplotlib and the really important library that we need to import for silhouette plots that is sklearn.metrics silhouette samples okay so this is the library i'm gonna use which comes from metric so whenever it comes so whenever it comes to the accuracy finding the majors finding the score accuracy it is always comes from sklearn.metrics we always import it from sklearn.metrics so currently we are using silhouette samples all right again code is not important but we are using k-means algorithm again and you see the parameters number of clusters are given four for now let's execute and see what it prints don't worry i'll upload this code on the github repository and give you the link in the description and also in the pinned comment box so don't worry about the coding part here understanding concept is important let me execute this cell to see how silhouette plot looks like you see we need four clusters so that's why it is plotting four blobs so these are blobs which doesn't look identical to each other this is very simple to analyze visually if these blobs doesn't look identical that means the number of clusters which you chose is not correct the number of clusters we chose is four and these blobs doesn't look identical this is what silhouette coefficient silhouette plot suggests us to analyze specifically wherever you see this red line red dotted line uh, this is called silhouette average coefficient silhouette average right so you need to look for wherever this line crosses from each blob is the width identical the width of this green blob is bigger than the other blobs so the width is not identical they are not same so number four is not an optimal number of clusters right so i need to change and let's see let's see for two and run again again you see it is better than four but blobs are not identical the width here and the width here is not same let's see for three if i change the clusters to three then how does this looks like okay i tried different number of clusters different number two four and now three so for three i get better results i get better silhouette plots right i get better identical blobs and also the average that is intersection of this red line to the silhouettes is identical the width of these three blobs is almost similar and this is how you analyze silhouette plots that is silhouette coefficient to know optimal number of clusters to know value of k and here we are just printing so to conclude in simple words identifying the optimal value of k is really important to know the correct number of clusters in unsupervised learning Importantly, how to know how many clusters we should be creating from the data using different methodologies we saw, elbow curve method and silhouette plot. And that's how we come to an end of this video. If you have any questions regarding the same, let us know in the comment below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.